it was written as if Thweek sent it to the guy's computer that you raided. So it's from Thweek's perspective. And that's the blunt term of it. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking about yeah, yeah, you were on the right track. So, <laughs> some inf- what if I had some information about this three saying that he may have, I don't know, decapitated a certain Tianosin that we both know? Well, Timo saw to it that Sivor was killed in a highly exclusive gladiatorial bout. Just him and his closest cronies were spectating. As the bout was finishing, Timo allowed his Kubas spy, Thweek, to enter the ring and deliver the killing blow to Sivor. It had been a long-held ambition of Thweek's to kill a Geonosian. Hmm. Interesting. So, you're saying that Timo doesn't particularly want to work with um, Theo Nelson? Timo wants to, but if the Geonosians were to hear about this, especially since they are not big fans of Kubazes, because Kubazes are known to be insect- insectivores, they might not be so happy about this. In fact, that may be why Pidok stopped working with Timo. Ah. Thank you for your time. Here, have a drink on me. Thank you. Uh, you could also have asked him about some of the guests, too. But I think you guys have pretty much figured out the guests. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, is can it about we, time to meet with... Um, you can meet with the Duke again, Pidoc. Could, could we have given him fake information to get the... To get Java on to the Tivo? <laughs> you guys actually learned a lot from that. Yeah. I was thinking about doing it, but, uh, not, but I don't know how... <laughs> What the investigation job would do behind that? Oh, yeah, Dad, so, anything else on the go? No, that was about it. Hey, so yeah, we should probably. Uh, so, Duke Pidock motions you into one of his private booths so that you can begin dealing in earnest. Another Geonosian appears with a large suitcase. So, all of you, are, all of you that are at the party, you're gathered around, including you and you, because at this point, you guys are technically part of the party. Casey? Oh, you're with them now. Mm-hmm. Uh, with their group now? Yeah. You kind of just followed them. In, in, in a, a drunken, drunken stupor. Hmm? A gammer. In a drunken stupor. Who does? Who does? Yeah, he's got one. Is he selling it? Well, that's not what he... No, it's on his person. The suitcase is open, revealing Geonosian heavy blaster pistols, Geonosian blaster carbines, <coughs> and Geonosian blaster rifles. <laughs> and Duke Pidock, Duke Pidock says the starting price for the pistols are 100 and, are 1,100 credits. For the carbines, I ask 1,300 credits. And the rifles are 1,500 credits. Remember, you guys were given 33,000 credits by Nin. You can all, as, a, uh, as a whole. Now, remember, you guys can also negotiate. Hmm. That's very... That's a very... Their deal. Yes, but, Shut up but I would like. I think that if we were to get a better deal, we would be more forthcoming with buying in weapons and arms from you in the future, especially such fine quality in weapons as these. I'm sure my employer would definitely. He might have purchased more. Okay. So, what's your negotiation again? Negotiation is two green. Can I help him with this negotiation? Yes. Yes, you can always say something right now before I... Uh, I'm going to help him with the negotiation as well to get the pistols to bring down the price on the pistols. Okay. What's your... Well, what are you going to say to the Duke to convince him? Um... I also am interested in buying some of these weapons, but I also would like for these prices to be a little bit more flexible. Okay, what's your uh, negotiation? I think it's like two, three grand. Man, mine's better than both of yours. What's your negotiation? Two yellows. Say something then. You're in the room too. Everybody is yeah, in the room. Three 
wouldn't be. Except easy. for me. So. Well, I think you guys might pass with the two and three, but go ahead, just in case. I was going to wish for something to it. Okay. Consistent business is preferable to death first. Did you go this way? By having a consistent customer, you're always guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. You guys managed to manage, uh, get them to lower it by 10%. Uh, okay, okay. Since this is the first time you guys have bought from me, we can work something out. How about 990 for the pistol, uh, 1170 for the carbines, and 1350 for the rifles? How much? 990 for the pistols, which there's more than one pistol, so you know you could buy a bunch of those. 1170 for the rifles, I mean the carbines. And thirteen fifty for the rifles. That each. Each. Okay, that's still thirty five hundred. Yeah, you don't have to buy one of each. You can just like buy whichever ones you think Nin would appreciate. Nin was Nin was only expecting you guys to get. She wants at least two or three of whatever you guys get. How about how about we get three black? Actually, here. The I've also heard that Geonosians have some of the sharpest blades. It's in the galaxy. Fuck, I didn't prepare that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Always be prepared. You got blade use. That's Sonic Blast. <laughs> yeah, you do oh, have And blade. also, I know that you guys do deal in Sonic Blasters. Do you have, you wouldn't happen to have a Sip Grade one, per se, on hand that we could also procure from you? Yes, but that would be 1,000 credits exact. Mm -hmm. And a Viper Sword? About 500. Mm -hmm. And. Alright. C2, what is your plan? Well, I'm just gonna pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want your money right this second. How about we. <laughs> yeah. Take my money. I of course, I of course don't expect you to pay up right here now. Oh, I will, sir, I can do it. I will have one of my people meet with you at your ship to settle up as you leave. You, you sure you don't want the money now, or at least half of it now? That's only what, I'm gonna. That's um, only five thousand total. And I'm I'm gonna, I think I want to try and negotiate and see if there's any job like little small jobs that. We could do for him to get price lowered. We don't need the price. Lowered. No, the price is fine. <laughs> uh, there is something. Although you guys can talk to him about Timo now. Now that it's just you guys and him, so, he brought you to a private room. Okay. There's fine. Uh, now that we have the weapons worked out, um, there is a more private matter that I'm most interested in. It seems that you formerly had dealings with a certain hut, Timo. I used to work with him a little bit, but things were already kind of so soured between us. Once I discovered he had a Kubaz spy in his employ, that was the final straw. I cut things off with him. I, s I suspect, but I'll never be able to prove that one of my technicians, Sevor, was abducted or killed by Timo. It's not a major deal, but it's still frustrating if he did so. What did he need your services for? 